a feedback buddy. Who is a feedback buddy? That's someone that you designate in your life and you say, look, I'm working on changing this habit. Would you help me? Would you be my feedback buddy? You're my friend, you're my sister, you're my mother, you're my husband, you're my somebody. You love me, you want me to be the best that I can be. In the moment when I do that habit, would you lovingly point it out to me and help me change it? So you get a feedback buddy. My husband is my feedback buddy. My husband's name is John. He is a weatherman. He's a meteorologist for an ABC affiliate in Florida. A weatherman, I call him my weather muffin. <laughs> and he is great. So I said to him one day, I said, honey, I'm really working on this thing, this controlling thing. I know that it has caused problems in our relationship before, and I am committed to changing it. So would you be my feedback buddy? And when you see me do some little controlling thing, would you, and here's the operative word, lovingly point it out to me. <laughs> lovingly, because if you don't do it lovingly, I won't be able to hear it. And he said, sure, I can do that. I said, great. We're off and running, I'm thinking, I'm going to change and learn and grow. <laughs> Saturday morning comes, we get up, he says, I'm going out to work in the yard, the lawnmower's broke, I've got to fix it. Off he goes, hot Florida sun. As he's walking out the door, he grabs a cold piece of pizza from the night before and starts heading out. At which point I said, Oh, wait, honey, no, no, wouldn't you like some protein, you know? It would give you more, you know, uh, energy, endurance for the whole day. It would be much healthier. A little bit. At which point he goes, Linda, feedback. <laughs> I said, what? He said, feedback. Honey, I know you have the best of intentions, but that feels a little controlling to me. I went, oh, ha, 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 right you are. Thank you for pointing that out, honey. And off he goes with his little cold piece of pizza. A couple of hours later, he comes back in, and I don't know how to put this any other way except to say, this man looked scary. He had been working and sweating. His hair was going in about 42 different directions. He had grease smeared across his face. He had a torn, torn t-shirt. His legs were covered, matted with grass. He looked horrible. And I, he says to me as he comes in, Linda, I'm leaving. I got to go to Home Depot. I'll be right back. <laughs> At which point I went, whoa, whoa, hang on, hold on, whoa, whoa, hold on just a second. Man. I don't know, would, 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 wouldn't you like to smash your hair down or... <laughs> Wipe a little of the grease off your face. I'd change your shirt. At which point he looks at me and goes, feedback. <laughs> Says, honey, I know you have the best of intentions, but that feels a little controlling to me. At which point I replied, through gritted teeth, I might add, thank you for pointing that out. And then he heads off to leave, at which point he turns around at the door and says, and by the way, this is the Home Depot uniform. <laughs> and he leaves. Well, I don't remember what the third thing was. I don't. All I remember is that when he looked at me and went, feedback, <laughs> I wanted to smack him upside his little Italian head. <laughs> and I got so angry, I went, okay, just hold on here, buddy. You are missing the point. You mean to tell me that I can't give you advice that's going to keep you safer and healthier, that I can't care about you? And then I did what I do when I get mad. I went shopping. <laughs> well, actually, I went to the drugstore, but that was good enough. I just needed to get out of the house. And I walked out and got, I remember it was headache medicine. I remember that very specifically. I picked it up. I walked back over to the counter, slapped it down on the counter, crossed my arms, fuming, waiting for the woman to turn around to take my money. And when she did, I could not help but notice that she had on one of those slogan buttons, you know? And I don't know if you've ever seen something in life, you know, a sign, and you've thought to yourself, ooh, it's a sign from God, and it's for me. But that's what I had in that moment. 
a sign from God for me because here's what the button said. It said, the truth will set you free. <laughs> and underneath it read, but first it will piss you off. 